Savage Finance. Because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. You see it all of the time. Do you want to have $100,000 cash or 850 credit score? And you have many people who like, I want the credit score, I want the credit score. With an 850 credit score, you have more borrowing power than $100,000 cash. I'm here to tell you that is fundamentally untrue. And why you would rather have the cash than the high credit score. Did you know that someone with a lower credit score in the 680s to 700 could get more credit than you can because they have a higher income than you do? See, one of the things that so many people miss is the equation of income and getting credit. If this is your first time here, what I want you to do is go to the beginning of the channel and start watching the videos from the beginning up to now to get your financial education so you can become financially literate. All right, so let me go ahead and give you how credit works. You could have an 850 credit score and only get up to $30,000 credit. Why? because of your income. There's something that's called an exposure limit. What I want you to do is to look through your credit cards and look at your credit card limits. 75% of the country has what's called low to moderate income. And more than likely your credit cards are gonna be between 2,500 to perhaps 10,000 being the highest credit limit that you have. And you have really good credit. You got a 750, maybe you even have an 850, but this is a big factor. It's called the ability to repay. And many people are so drunk on credit with the American credit indoctrination system that you will see people like, yeah, if you have an 850 credit score, you could get more credit than if you had $100,000 cash. It's simply not true. Essentially, over 75% of working America makes less than $33,000. At the most you're gonna get in terms of credit is 30 to $40,000. That's about it. Now, if you have an 850 credit score and you make $250,000 a year, which only represents about 6% of the population, then yes, your 850 credit score, you could literally borrow a million or $2 million because of your high income and your high credit score. But if you only have a high credit score, you're gonna hit what's called a ceiling. You're gonna hit an exposure ceiling. You're only gonna be able to get so much credit before you become tapped out. Because essentially your income is gonna say, even though this person has an extraordinary credit score, they can only repay so much money back. And this is something you will see. I literally see it every few weeks on Facebook. Would you rather, you know, some of the posts, would you rather have an 850 credit score or $100,000 cash? Let me tell you why you want the $100,000 cash if you're part of about 85% of America that has low to moderate income the cash will go so much further. And also during these crazy times right now, if you have cash, let's say you had $100,000 cash, with the current economic state, that would be like having $350,000 cash. Cash will be better than credit in bad times. Let me say this again, cash will be better during bad times than credit. And this is something else that's happening with credit. There are many people with good credit scores, a great payment repayment record, and the bank is like, we don't want your business. The bank is literally closing people's credit cards accounts right now. You don't have to take my word for it, Google it. They're getting rid of people's credit limits and they're just saying, bye. 
you don't fit our profile. Do you know that a bank will close your credit card account if you don't use it in X amount of time? And you've got good credit and you've paid your bills on time and you've never been late. And because the bank will periodically go through their credit cards and like, oh, you haven't used this credit card in X amount of time. So we're gonna close your account. Let's say you had $100,000 cash in the bank. That $100,000 cash in the bank is consistent. No one's gonna close your bank account like, oh, you got $100,000 in the bank. Uh, we're gonna close your bank account because you, no, they're not gonna do that. See, the indoctrination into the credit the American credit indoctrination system is so strong that many people erroneously believe that they can get amazing credit limits with low income. It is simply not the truth, not gonna happen. Ask yourself, how many credit cards do you have with 25 and $30,000 limits? You're not gonna get those kind of limits with low income. Maybe you will go to Navy Federal and they'll give you one. And after that, that's, that's gonna be it. That's all you're gonna get. Because Navy Federal is known for giving out generous credit card limits. But Navy Federal is for the members. They're not for a profit organization like Chase Bank or Bank of America or Wells Fargo. So they're working for you. But I want you to understand, the credit equation is dependent upon your income, regardless of your credit score. You make $25,000 a year and you have an 850 credit score. You're only going to get so much credit. And also you have to be credit careful about your credit card mix. Let's say you make $30,000 a year and you have a $10,000 Home Depot credit card, you have a $10,000 Macy's credit card, and you have a $10,000 JCPenney credit card. That is going to limit how much more credit you can get in the future. So this is one of the things, go back and watch my video, how to develop super credit, because you don't wanna get store credit cards because each one of those credit cards counts in your credit mix toward the ability for you to get future credit. So why would you blow 10, 20, $30,000 on some store credit cards when you could take the same credit and get Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Chase? So once again, you, you have to understand your income is a extraordinary component especially right now. There are people with good credit getting their credit card accounts closed because they're not using them or, and from the bank's purview, they may have too much credit. I know there are many YouTube channels to talking about, you know, you can get $100,000, $150,000 in credit cards. That is if you lie about your income, which is what many people do. But here's the danger about lying about your income. If you have Chase or American Express, they have something that's called a financial review. Well, they will ask you point blank, hey, we wanna look at your taxes to see if the income that you told us that you made, you actually filed taxes on that kind of money. And if you do not give up the ability for them to look at your tax, you know, tax fund, tax files, guess what? They're gonna close your account. And this is one of the things, and this is starts happening when you start having multiple $25 and $30,000 limit accounts. This is when they start to look into you. You're not gonna get a $50,000 credit card with a, with a limit of $50,000 unless you have high income. They're just not gonna do it. And also, for American Express and Chase, they wanna do a financial review before they even grant you those kind of limits, unless you have a banking relationship with Chase or American Express where they can look into your bank account and like, oh yeah, he got that kind of money. And the money that we see coming through these bank accounts matches what he told us on the credit card application. So that's it in a nutshell. How does one get the big board credit limits? You got 
to up your income. That's one of the things, that's one of the reasons that one of the primary modes that we go on this channel is to make more money, to increase your more money. Because if you're like literally a hundred million people in this country make less than $50,000 per year. That's over half of the working population. And at most, the average credit card limits combined for these people is going to be between twenty dollars and $30,000. That's all their visas, MasterCards, Discovers, Macy's, Best Buy. That's going to be all of it because their income is going to critically limit how much credit they can get regardless of their credit score. See, there's some constituents to the credit card mix. I know of a guy who bought a million dollar house with a 680 credit score because he made $300,000 a year. See, you can have your 850, but someone with a 680 can get more credit then you can because they have more income. So next time you see these things on Facebook talking about would you rather have $100,000 cash or 850 credit score, post a link to this video where I can break it down because if you don't have the corresponding income for that high credit score, you're gonna tap out very quickly, especially right now uh, American Express, Chase, Bank of America, Citibank, all of these guys are closing credit card accounts left and right because they're a little scared that you're gonna use your credit to live on because you don't have a job. All right, so go below. I have a link to how to develop super credit, how to fix your credit, and also I have 30 days to 2,500 and the Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success, teaching you how to make more money, teaching you how to get the right mindset, teaching you the things you need to do. And also, go below and get the Money Management Course. You gotta pay for that, but it's gonna teach you how to set up your finances in a great way. And also some that's coming really soon is an enhanced version of that course. So anyone that buys the old course right now, from the time of this video into the future, you will also get the new course. You will have access to that. Because here's the game, folks. You gotta make more money. Making more money impacts everything that you do in your way of life and your way of living. It, it just impacts everything. So that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to watch this next video that's right here.